Captioned tonight by Ronan Darcy as the two sides make their way out onto the field of play. Crawley have Corey Adai in goal, a back three of McKenna, Ransom and Amoli. Travis Johnson just ahead of them. Darcy plays one side, Forster plays the other. Khalil and Henry play the supporting role. Jack Rolls just slightly ahead of that. And Tamari Swaya is the out-and-out -out striker for Crawley Town this evening. The substitute for the home side, Luca Ashby-Hammond, Dion Conroy, Liam Kelly, Clyde Lolos, Nick Sarula, Adam Campbell and Will Wright. As for the visitors, well, they have a fairly strong lineup out tonight. They've got Cox in goal. They're back four, Gibbons, Wilson, Taylor and Gordon. A holding midfield two of Finlay and Evans. At the 7 o'clock or a 7.30 kick-off this evening. We were almost off and underway, but a couple of Crawley players on this near side were just a little bit too keen to get themselves moving. So Rolls has to respot, and now we get underway, and the ball is played back into the feet of Johnson. And now this EFL Trophy game is off and underway. Later on that night, along with Tony, ball played round the corner, opportunity. Another good save by Corey Adai. Was one-on-one -on -one suddenly on the left-hand side. They still have the ball fired into the area and easily grabbed. But Luke Thomas has had a couple of sighters of goal, Tony, in these early stages. We've played 12 minutes, and Crawley might consider themselves a little bit fortunate. Uh, Newport and Cheltenham. So Crawley, having won the group, we're always going to be guaranteed a home draw. Here's Forster, running towards the edge of the box, gets in field, goes low towards goal. Keeper, I thought, got a glove on that one, more than a die got a touch on it. Referee claims not, though we're a long way from it, a lot further away from Mr Young, the referee. He claims there was nothing on that at all from the goalkeeper and it just goes behind for a goal kick. Yellow card for that. Yep. First yellow card of the night, but Collins has got through on goal and Corey Adai makes another great save. One on one with Collins and the ball breaks on this near side. Crawley just about, no, they don't keep it in play. Inside his six yard box, as you want your goalkeeper to be, I guess, Tony. Yeah, yeah, relatively easy take for him, one you would expect him to, to take. Crawley have put themselves in trouble and Thomas has walked it into the net. Aaron Henry caught in possession on the edge of his own penalty area. Crawley are looking round for a free kick that is not forthcoming. Corey Adair has come striding out of the goal, claiming that Aaron Henry was bundled over. But Luke Thomas, the number 11, yellow carded earlier on in the first half, took it off of Aaron Henry, just sort of bundled him over really, just a little yeah. bit too strong. Finished up one-on-one -on -one with Corey Adair and for the great first half that the Crawley keeper has had, nothing he could do about that one. Thomas puts it into the back of the net and pretty much in the final 60 seconds or so of the first 45 minutes it is Bristol Rovers who get their noses in front and the first goal of the Matt Taylor reign has been scored by Luke Thomas and they lead here at the Broadfield Stadium Crawley Town nil, Bristol Rovers 1 forward down this near side under control by Evans and the referee Mr Young says he's seen enough for the first half and the goal just before the break is what divides the two sides at half-time. Luke Thomas gets it. Henry ends up on his backside in the edge of his own penalty area, caught in possession. But I guess you, you need to say, though, Tony, that on the balance of play, you wouldn't say it's, it's a goal that Rovers no, don't no. deserve. No. Crawley all in red then. We'll play left to right in this second period. Rovers in their change kit of a, a grey, sort of silvery-coloured shirt, black shorts and greyish-coloured socks as uh, referee Mr Young gets things off and running for the second half the penalty area here's Darcy wearing the captain's armband tonight for Crawley gets it into Rolls who goes goalwards and it's tipped over by the goalkeeper decent effort by Jack Rolls found his scoring boots as I said in the game here against Aston Villa in the last group stage game Tony that wasn't far away always rising I think would have cleared the bar but Cox couldn't be sure and tipped it over and his side lead by a goal to nil Crawley still hesitant in making a substitution the ball's broken for Harry Forster on that far side a support on the overlap comes into the area Swire tries to get away from his man pulls it back rolls with the shots and rolls with the equaliser he loves the EFL trophy three goals in two games two against the Villa under 21s and one here tonight and in the 56th minute Crawley Town are back on level terms They've certainly been more offensive in the opening stages of the second half and they have their reward and left footage from just inside the box. Jack Rolls has found the back of the net and it's all square and game on again, Tony. Crawley won, Bristol Rovers won. One apiece. Thomas with the goal for Rovers just before half-time. Jack Rolls getting the goal for Crawley to put them back on level terms after 56 minutes. That's where we currently stand, but as I mentioned during the first half, we do have to have a winner tonight. Here's Forster, 
driving forward for Crawley. Steps inside a couple of players. What a run and what a goal! Harry Forster ran a long, long way and stepped away from a couple of challenges. And Crawley have turned this one around. And Forster has his second goal of the season. And he ran a long, long way and buried it in the back of the net. And as we're inside the 69th minute, suddenly Crawley Town have a sniff of the next round of the EFL Trophy. Goals by Rolls and by Forster have suddenly put the Reds in front, Tony. It is Crawley 2, Bristol Rovers 1. Oh, what a great goal. So positive. They won the challenge, ran at the defenders, went round one centre-half, the other one fell over. Into, drove into the box and sweetly into the bottom left-hand corner. So much confidence. Taylor has the ball for Rovers, being pursued by Sawyer, who almost nicks it. It's almost a little one too. Crawley almost come away with it, and they do. And they break away on that far side in the shape of Forster, who's being pursued, and that is a strong challenge by Gibbons. Forster was still a long, long way from goal. Gibbons absolutely cynical in what he was doing. This is an interesting decision for the referee, and he decides that Gibbons has to go, and he receives his marching orders. And if things weren't bad enough for Bristol Rovers, trailing by two goals to one in stoppage time, they are now going to play the remaining three and a half minutes of the seven-minute stoppage time with only ten men after the number 28, James Gibbons, has been dismissed for a foul on Forster. Ross comes away with the ball, gets it to Forster, halfway inside the Rovers' half of the field. Forster, head down, running like he did for the goal. Has Kelly to the right-hand side if he wants to release it at the right time. Here's Liam Kelly running out towards the corner flag, almost runs over the ball, draws the challenge in from the opposing number four, gets the throw. Excellent play by Liam Kelly. Referee blows the final whistle. It is a victory for Crawley Town over League One opposition here again at the Broadfield Stadium. Trailing at the break were the Reds, courtesy of a goal at the end of the first half by Luke Thomas. But they came out of the blocks and out the traps very, very quickly in the second half, the home side. Back on level terms, courtesy of a sweet strike by Jack Rolls after 56 minutes. And then what turned out to be the winner was a lung.